In fact, joining us right now on the Squawk Newsline to talk more about it is Jay Clayton. He, of course, is the former chairman of the SEC. He's also a CNBC contributor. And, uh, Jay, let's put your legal hat on here. Uh, reading through the, the, the case on this, it, it sounds like they are going to be looking at that founding agreement, the founding agreement that um, Mr. Musk put together with Mr. Altman. Um, not only did Elon Musk put a lot of his time and effort into founding this company, he put about $44 million of his own money. And this lawsuit says that the uh, defendants set aflame the founding agreement back in 2023 when they got into this uh, new movement with Microsoft and released chat GPT-4. What, what, what do you think about the legal strength of this case? Um, it, 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 first, it's a, it's a fascinating complaint uh, and articulates the, the history here in a way that's, um, that's really interesting, uh, much, in, much in line with, with the clips that you just played. Um, you know, just to, as a quick take on this case, I, I would summarize it as follows. O open AI is at an inflection point. Um, clearly, you need the cooperation of large players, um, uh, computing power, data, information to, to, to develop its potential. And, and, the, and the question I think that the lawsuit says is, as they have engaged with commercial actors, Microsoft in this case, have, have they gone too far in giving them something where the promise of open and benefit of humanity is being lost? So if I were, if I were, the takeaway from this is we're at an inflection point in time, and is the governance of this company gone too far away from that core mission? And I think yeah, there's damages, and yeah, there's discovery, but there's a, there's a request for what we call it here equitable relief, injunctive relief, which is, I, I think what what he's saying is you need to rejigger how your decision making takes place in terms of what's going to be available to the public, who you're going to partner with, and the like. Because if you go too far down this track, a corporation will be benefited much more than the public. That, that's how I sort of sum up. Now, there's, and there's tons of atmospherics around this. Musk is uh, arguably a competitor with OpenAI. You know, there may be personal issues, but if, I think that's the nub of the, of, of the claim that, that is being made here. And do you think that that claim is valid, that it it will stand under a judge looking but, through it. Yeah, and I think this is you have to you have to be always be careful when a complaint is filed because it's one side of the story ter, uh, you know, told to their most benefit. And what what we have to see here is is this right? Is this a question where you're giving one entity such a head start, and and they put this pivot point in there about have we reached AGI? Have we have we reached such a head start? Where we've gone against the mission, and and I and I do think people are going to have to sit down. Most most lawsuits. Let's just remember, most lawsuits get settled, and are people going to sit down at the table and say, "Okay, we know we need commercial actors to help, but what what additional governance steps are we going to put, right. put in place? Jay, How are we going to exercise this, them to this do suit? This? Is unusual in that Elon Musk is the one bringing it, and the idea of a settlement uh, might seem like a, a sort of normal course scenario. Very few things with Elon Musk are normal course. Yes, yes, and, and Elon, because Elon Musk is one of the few people who, in his own resources, has the power of a large corporation. And Bingo. he also has Bingo. the bully and, and so the idea that there would be a set, I mean, that, that's the piece of this that I can't even understand, what the outcome could ultimately be. This, first of all, this case could go on for, for many, many years. My question to you, more generally, is considering the distraction that this case is likely to create for OpenAI, for Microsoft, potentially what it may do uh, in the public sphere, depending on what kind of discovery comes out to benefit the likes of Google, which, by the way, may become a, a beneficiary of this, um, or some of the other big players. Do you imagine that a, a judge, at least in the first instance, throws the case out or lets it continue? Because that's going to be the fundamental that may have actually an even bigger impact than whatever you think the outcome of the case were to be. Yeah, yeah. And, and Andrew, you, you are, you're hitting, and we don't have the benefit of whatever the defendants would say here, but you're hitting on, on this, which is the defendants would say, hey, slowing this down or stopping this or keeping these, these joint ventures and partnerships from happening is actually going to hurt the public because other commercial competitors, other governments are going to get ahead of us. We, we need, this is a race. We need to move fast. So, a judge is going to face the fact that 
you know, this is not this is not something happening in the abstract. You know, I, I think people are arguing that every day counts, and there's a, there's probably a very strong argument that any slowdown as a result of this case is is going to be a problem. So, but is your Jay is your read of the case that a judge could allow? See, I think there's two views of this case. One is that effectively Elon Musk is, is asking for the equivalent of injunctive relief. Could a judge say, you know what, I can't grant you that, but I will grant you discovery to continue to bring the case? And the question is, obviously, the injunct injunctive relief to stop all of this immediately would 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 become a massive problem for OpenAI and Microsoft. And Microsoft but yeah. but yeah, unto yeah, itself, I, mean, I, I, I could mean, argue that I mean, the discovery is 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 going to be pretty complicated unto itself as well. Andrew, immediate injunctive relief in in a commercial case of this time is an incredibly high bar. I, 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 you know, look, just handicapping after an hour of digesting this, I would think you know, highly unlikely. Some, some type of claim for equitable relief, how you govern the company, whether, whether you've, you're actually true to your governance documents, um, is, is an interesting thing here. And, and there may be other parties, but any time the public interest is, is at play, judges, judges think a little bit about that as well, Andrew. This is not just one, one commercial party against another commercial party. You do have this idea of public beneficiaries in and not-for-profit.